Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Here to discuss further into integrals and average value and go over example two of the integrals and average value video series. I'm gonna go over this example which is, which states show that the average velocity of a car over a time interval T1 to T2 is the same as the average of its velocities. Yeah, and uh, what's uh, what this is saying is uh, the average velocity is just what is the, the the average or the velocity that you need to get from point A to point B over over a certain time. And this average of his velocities is if it, it had many different velocities and then you average those out. This is saying show that they're both the same thing. Now to do this first, let's just look at the definition. Well, by definition, the velocity of, a, of the car, assuming S of T is the position function, is just going to be average velocity yeah, equals 2 delta S over delta T. So the change in time divided by the change, I mean the change in the displacement or position divided by the change in time. So this is the overall uh, change in time and change in position which is the average velocity. And this equals to S of T2, so uh, position at time 2 minus S of T1 or the position at time 1 divided by the difference in time. So T2 minus T1. So this is the average velocity definition. Yeah, but on the other hand, the average velocity uh, of the, you know, the average value of the velocity function. So if we, if we were given the velocity function, let's say, uh, v average, so we're going to be averaging of the velocities, uh, not using this definition, just averaging it out. This equals two, like I showed in my earlier video on average value, is just going to be one divided by t two minus t one, an integral of from t one to t two of now this is velocity so vt dt so this is a velocity function right there now v vt this one equals what's it called v of t or the velocity is this equal to the derivative of the position function uh, function so s prime of t so that's what velocity is by definition yeah it's, it's basically the the rate change of the position so now we could put that in here. So t2 minus t1 integral from t1 to t2 of s prime of t dt. So now we can actually take the integral of this part. So that's going to equal 2 t2 t1 an integral of yeah the integral of s prime of t. That's just going to be well the position. You just because it's, this is a derivative. So you look at the antiderivative, which is just s of t. So derivative is s of t, and this is from t1 to t2, and this equals to 1 over t2 minus t1. Now we just plug in t2 minus t1 there. So we get s of t2 minus s of t1. And now this is our average velocity. I just write it uh, neater. So s of t2 minus s of t1 divided by t2 minus t1 and there you have it. this is the exact same thing as this one right here so this equals to our average velocity yeah so our average velocity so v average or the average of the velocity function or velocities is equal to the average velocity uh, definition so that that's just wanted to show you that's the same thing you could find the average velocity in both ways Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this video, and like always, you could download the uh, these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.